Can we remember all the cotton candy flavors? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. With an ingredients list of only air and sugar, cotton candy has to be one of the simplest treats around. Happy cotton candy day, daddies. <laughs> it's cotton candy Randy. Oh Lord. <laughs> Let's just get right into it. It's time for Memory Flavor, Memory Flavor, Memory Flavor, Flavor Match. Cotton Candy. It turns out the cotton candy market is flooded with flavors beyond just cotton candy flavor. The Mythical Crew found multiple companies online offering dozens and dozens of cotton candy and all kinds of wild flavors. But here's the thing. After ordering tons of flavors from several of these companies, only one actually sent us what we ordered. For real? Yeah, the rest just ghosted us. What the crap? Yeah. So today we'll be trying a bunch of cotton candy flavors we've never tried before from Chocolate Storybook. Not a sponsor, but uh, we did want to give you some props. They don't even Chocolate have cotton candy Storybook. in their name. <laughs> All right. Uh, not only will we need to identify what each flavor is by tasting it. Yeah. Uh, but we also have to locate it on our flavor memory board made by the lovely Channa Height. Hello, oh. Channa. Hello. Thanks for calling me lovely. Yeah, just as shiny yeah. as ever. Yeah. I think you requested that. You're it welcome. Is in my contract. <laughs> Whoever wins gets the honor of being crowned Cotton Candy Prince Rememberington. Hmm. All right, gentlemen, please direct your attention to the board. You'll have 20 seconds to look at all your flavor options in their spots. And remember, these are the locations for the entirety of the game. Rem I got to remember that, too? Yeah. yeah. Remember it. <laughs> this time around, no you'll get one point for guessing the flavor and an additional point for guessing the correct spot. Yes. And there we go. You get a special lifeline for this game only. On the round of your choice, you'll each have the opportunity to bring Cotton Candy Randy out to help you taste a flavor and tell you what it, he thinks it is. Shanna, please start revealing the flavors. Okay. Okay. Okay, oh my gosh. Your 20 seconds begins now. I just get so overwhelmed. Just don't speak. Okay, look away. I know that you've memorized everything, no. so this should be easy. Golly, God. I'm not, I just can't look away. Look I at mean, you cheating! I need all the help I can get. Hey, it's, I mean, I don't know. All right. I don't feel I mean, great. did you memorize all those? It's just in a cup, it's not yeah. on a stick. All right, so there's some white pieces, there's like some. Slightly darker. Grayish brown stripes. Hmm, that's not bad. That's not quite bad nice. Enough. Quite nice. It looks like dirty snow. Up. Oh, is that a hint? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't taste like poop snow. Mm. Um. Hmm. It still kind of tastes like cotton candy, though. Yeah. There's a subtle something to it. So we get to write down our flavor and our tile number independently. So S Stevie, this this is an update. If you get the flavor right. Yeah, we, we needed to throw point. you a bone. You know. It's like, it's just it's so hard watching you guys just score zero points and. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I think I have a decent guess. Now, where, the, where was that? Seven? I believe that Chase just pointed at the board. Channa. Channa's just. Channa, getting, Channa's just pointing at the Channa board. Channa just said seven, so. Whenever you ask Channa to point at the board, uh, he will always point at seven. Were you always pointing at the whole board or were you just pointing at seven? <laughs> see, look, see. What are you pointing, are you pointing at the whole thing? Or one thing. Yeah. All right. He's going full mime for it. I think I remember root beer float, and it did look like that. It could have tasted like that. And I mean, I went with Chana seven. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it tasted most like uh, cotton candy. Uh, but also, if I had to narrow it down to a flavor, I did see wedding cake up there, and I think it was maybe twelve. But why would it be gray? Well, you just had cookies and cream. Cotton candy. Oh, that makes sense. It's so it's very subtle. Yeah, I don't know where you got the root beer from, but I was tasting like a ca a cakey thing. Hmm. Maybe 
So maybe the cook- cookiness. But did we get lucky? No. <laughs> it was hidden behind spot number six. I was so close to it. Is that what you were pointing at, Channel? No, it's pointing at seven. The one you chose. Okay, what's behind seven? Blue raspberry. Uh, blue raspberry. And was I right about wedding cake? Oh, wedding hey. cake. Look so, at that. But, I was wrong, but right. But you don't get a point. For don't that. get a point. You I just get, get a, a little pride. Little pride point. Hey, I have more white cotton candy. This one doesn't have any discoloration. Uh, special added colors. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. That one's easy. This one tastes nasty. I've tasted this before. Shoot, I don't know what it is. It's easy to you? No. Okay, now that he's put his answer down, can I call in Randy to help me and he not change his answer? Yeah. Uh, in fact, like, that's probably how the lifeline should work. The other okay. guy has to All right, commit. so you're locked in. I, I need some help with this. It's on the tip of my tongue. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm requesting for Cotton Candy Randy I actually come think back out here. I think this is good because I think Cotton Candy Randy has a lot of experience with Cotton Candy, right? Of course. Uh, yeah, daddies, I'm here to lend my hands. And I just want to let you know, I want you here. I called you here in this moment. Yeah, man, that's your bad. <laughs> All right, you want to hear a sweet nothing? Yes. <laughs> no, that's not what... Yeah. Okay. I want you to join me and Chana at his summer home in Ibiza. There's only one bed and it's in the shower. <laughs> the old shower bed. Gets a little moist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you think you've been having bladder problems, but I'm the one who's been wetting your bed. <laughs> All right. Taste of, this. Give me some numbs. A lot of wet beds around here. All right. <laughs> so what is this? Mmm. It's something that Rhett knew immediately. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's familiar. That takes me back. <laughs> College. Wild. <laughs> uh, what is it? Um, Let's see. I don't think he knows. While you're thinking, can you... Uh, is don't the, distract him. Is the flavor of your beard a different flavor than your... Uh, Facial hair? Only like, one way to find out. <laughs> no, no. Join us in a visa. <laughs> <laughs> Join us in a visa. So oh, I'll be there. Don't it, worry. It seems like you didn't know immediately. I mean, what? What? You want? Oh to... no! I'm just having a flood of sense memories. I'm just living in my mind palace right now. So, so what is it, dude? I think it's blue raspberry. <laughs> Number. 69. Nice. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I think it's number seven. It's not, it's, it's not like, hey, like the only. Is this going you, well? You feel good? You feel good about this? Hey, the man's got a lot of experience with cotton candy. I, I, I guess root beer float again. <laughs> Because that's all, the, all that I seem to be tasting today. I know it's not. I, I'm actually surprised that you didn't. Yeah, it is root beer float, man. That's why you hated it. But it's number five, I believe. Well, it is indeed root beer float. You got that right. Thanks, Randy. Let's see. Well, let's see, Brett. Let's see if you're correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was so close. Link, let's see what you got. Maple, Maple bacon. bacon. I remember that. Yes. It's, Wait, how do you feel? I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. Hey, little off-white again. But yeah, uni- but uniform. It's brownish, brownish beige. Oh, that's that's just. <clears throat> <laughs> I thought it. I thought it was sweet, and then it was just nasty. That's strong. All right, right. there's only one flavor that that could be. Yeah. If we both don't get this right and know where it's at, then I'm I'm worried about that maybe you not just injured your elbow or your shoulder, but you injured your brain. Right. So we're both going with maple bacon number 10. It's that one. Bacon as a flavor is so obvious. You said bacon, not maple bacon. That is not the flavor link. Yeah, this is it. This is it. All right, let's see. uh, But maybe if you didn't say maple bacon. You know what I mean. I don't know. It's it's got a picture. You can't do it now. No, 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 no. You can't do it now. It's got clearly. It's got a maple syrup thing there. Brett, this is this not is a gonna, good look for you. This is gonna go to Stevie. What you're doing right now is not a good look. Oh, Link, if you possibly want to go to Ibiza with us, 
you're going to have to be really specific with the kinds of things that you want. There. Oh, I like the way you hit the, the Z in Ibiza. Uh, like well, let's see what's behind number 10. Maple bacon. Okay, yeah. so it is the one that you hey, both Hey, Stevie, what is that jar of? I mean, we just what? saw it. I was just kind of like, I knew it was maple bacon. Okay. Well, let's see what the real flavor is. Let's find that out. Oh, it's maple bacon. <laughs> yeah, exactly what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. I just didn't want to waste anybody's time. Okay. <laughs> I feel... How about this? If it okay. comes down to a tie... All right. I win. Yeah, that seems fair. That I, seems I, fair. I'm fine with that. Hey, we released a second issue of our comic book, Blood Oath. It's available exclusively on the Mythical Society. You gotta be third degree monthly uh, by January 31st to qualify for this thing. Um, it's Rhett and Link versus Barbara and Jade. Yep. Our dogs and Jade, Ooh. the AI. Oh my goodness, so it's that's an am- complex. It's an amazingly complex story, um, chock full of amazing illustrations um, that you can soak up and collect forever. MythicalSociety.com. Hey, Link, look, I got some more white cotton candy. Here it is. I mean, it seems like they'd want to throw some coloration in these to make them more interesting, at least to give us a hint. Mm. Now, that one is good, my friends. Yeah, this is a dessert. Um, I'm actually torn on this one. It's not fruity. I'm torn. I'm torn. Remember Rip Torn, actor? Vaguely? He died. Vaguely. He died. And it was interesting because it was like rip, rip torn. (laughs) I think that's why he named himself that because he had a sense of humor. Yeah. All right. I I have a decent feeling about this. Okay, well then go first. I think this is Donut at number 15. Well, that's a great guess. It, Thank you. It's a desserty, cakey thing. It is. It's a dessert. That's why I went with wedding candy. cake. Twelve. I couldn't tell if it was wedding cake or donut. All right. Let's see what Link chose behind fifteen. Frosted donut. Yeah. You know the frosted variety. All right. And how about behind twelve? Wedding cake. And let's fly out what the real flavor was. Wedding cake! No! Dang it! I mean, now that I know that it's wedding cake. It, ha- it has a birthday cake-y kind of flavor, but like frosted donut and wedding cake, that's real close, man. I know. You shouldn't feel too bad about that, but it was it tastes, definitely I mean, wrong. you've got, donut is made from some sort of cake. Yeah. It's a cakey donut. And that has frosting on it. I mean, oh, it's gosh. almost like a wedding cake. So if it's a tie at the end, I, pretty, I think that I should win. <laughs> yeah. All right, we've got color. Finally. Ooh, that is a nice consistency to it. Is it softer to you? It's like, I mean, this should go on a loom. You want to make clothing out of cotton candy? This is the best cotton candy I've ever tasted. Because, I just want to let you know, I I don't don't like like cotton cotton candy. candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's two that jump out at me that I remember seeing. It It is quite tasty. And I do think that the fact that it's purple does things for me. Okay, what did you write? I wrote blueberry number seven. Ha! I wrote, uh, I wrote happy blueberry because I, I knew that there was another word and I just wanted to rub it in your face that I knew there was another word. But I'm pretty sure it's nine, dude. I think we've already seen it. I don't know. Okay. Let's see what's behind seven. Raspberry! <laughs> it had the word blue in it, uh, but you blew it. And what's behind nine? Come on, blueberry. Come on, blueberry! Oh, jalapeno. <laughs> Is that a blueberry? That's a freaking Green. jalapeno. Well, jalapeno. Let's see. Let's bring in the flavor itself. See if y'all got that right. What's, is it blueberry? Oh, yep. it's blueberry jam. Ah. Okay, so, I mean, I don't know what that means, but I did get the right fruit. Well, it's behind spot number four. And yes, we have a. Now that you've picked on Link with the maple bacon argument of it all. Yeah, you uh, didn't say blue, dude. Okay, all right. But I, so now we're back even. No, Except no, jam. The last no, one. no he, he didn't say jam, no, he said I'm blue, because that's yeah, part yeah, of the word I'm not blueberry. Ta- I'm not gonna take any points from this, but I'm still holding on to the fact that when we both guessed the same thing, I was more accurate. And therefore, basically, if yeah. you want to do that, I, I should get a half point for the last time and a half point for this. I should have a full extra point if you want to be fair about it. 
I don't, but what do you mean? <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Uh, we have a little mix here, and uh, some pink and some white. White and pink. Sorry. Hmm. See, I don't love this one either. That's but odd. That, but that blueberry jam, noted. That's some good stuff. Uh, you know what? Not that I necessarily need it at this point, um, but uh, I do need to strengthen my friendship with Cotton Candy Randy, so I would like to call him in uh, for his perspective on this. Not that I necessarily need <laughs> Not that I know, just that I don't think you can win at this point. Oh. <laughs> hey, Daddy, before I chop, you want to hear another sweet nothing? Yes. I'm making a wig out of the curly hairs you leave on the toilet seat. <laughs> hey, Link, did you go into Lens Crafters and ask him for the Jeffrey Dahmer special? <laughs> <laughs> All right, put it in the chopper. That's already been in the comments like 40 times. Try to read the comments. <laughs> Good. You're bad for my mental health. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's really potent. Well, I'm getting a distinct alcohol taste, so I think, or maybe I just got drunk before I came. <laughs> Either way, I'm gonna go with Merlot 11. Interesting. I do remember that being up there. Can I have a little bit more of that that you ate? Oh, sorry, happy Merlot. You really, how, just how, take that in piece. Well, then. what part? How, I think I've touched all of this. I'm trying to did give you- Did you put it in your mouth and take it back out? Why yeah. is it wet on multiple sides? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You really taste the alcohol. Yeah, I'm getting it, man. Getting I, it hard. <laughs> I think I would have. Okay. I'm supposed to have already guessed. Um, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, you're supposed <laughs> to have guessed. It was your rule, man. Okay. I'm going, I'm going, I'm, I'm changing my answer and agreeing with Randy. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, dang. There ain't no way that's right, man. Uh, strawberry cream number three. What I had written was frosted donut. Because, but I think it was just the color made me think that. I don't know. Oh. All right, let's see what's behind 11. Merlot. Yep, Merlot. We're gonna have a lot of that in Ibiza. Oh yeah. And number three. Black, Black licorice. licorice. That is not what I thought. Black licorice. Let's fly out what the actual flavor was. Oh, it's Frosted Donut. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. man. Thanks for nothing, That's Randy. Hey, yeah, listen. you blew it. <laughs> well, you know what? We'll uh, we'll make up for it in Ibiza. Yeah. yeah. All right. Never listen to me. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> Never listen to you. Exactly. Is the strawberry cream even up there? No, I, I don't believe so. Come on. Cream. Let's see. Turn them all over. Let's There's see a, what we can Turn do. them all over? We got to get out of here. All right. We got to get out of oh, here. strawberry cheesecake. Rhett, you won the... Oh, strawberry cheesecake. That's what I wish I would have guessed and still been wrong. Congratulations. The crown stays on your head and it's expanding. It's growing. It's accumulative. It's growing. Love this. Uh, congratulations. You are now uh, Prince. Cotton Candy Prince Remembering. Remembering 10. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, we're the Flickingers from Oklahoma City. And I, Cotton Candy Brandy. I made a new perfume and it smells like you. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality, daddies. <laughs> cotton candy brandy. brandy. <laughs> Is that cotton candy randy's daughter or sister? I don't ask questions. <laughs> okay, click the top link to watch us taste Spork's favorite garlic breads and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Join Third Degree Monthly by January 31st to get the second issue of Blood Oath, our comic book. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.